Welcome to another Empires and Puzzles Books video. I am super excited to share with you all my first perfect tournament week. I had 25 victories in 25 attempts and A defense all week. Currently sitting at sixth place on the leaderboard. Uh, that is apt to change because even with a perfect week, the difference in placement depends on the points that were available in the players that you attacked. And I have no control over that. So it'll be interesting to see where that pans out. But having this perfect tournament week is really a, a, a nice cap to a very intense month where I was able to finish ninth in the Legendary Challenge event, eighth in the Ninja Tower, and I had a perfect war this month as well with six wins and gobbled up lots of the enemy flags uh, with my defense team. So I appreciate all the support from the community. I appreciate your interest in watching these videos. I do have something interesting to share with you this time out. Uh, the first video is going to be from Marcus OT on Facebook. He sent me a video of his raid attempt on my defense for this week's tournament. And huge credit to him. Uh, he shared a video in which he was not successful in the raid. Most people that send me videos like to show uh, when they kick my butt. So I appreciate him being humble and, and sharing a video uh, where he was not successful. And I think that says a lot for him. I think it's also worth noting how challenging these tournaments have become. In August of 19, I finished 7th place in a rare tournament with 23 wins and 2 losses. And now here I am, you know, a little more than a year later with a perfect week with 25 wins sitting in 6th place. And I'm not sure that I'll hold on to the top 10 even with a perfect week. So kudos to the community for getting so much stronger. The play is obviously very intense and, and the game seems to be growing as far as I can tell as far as the number of players. Well, enough of my yapping. Let's jump in. Let's check out Marcus's attack on my team, and then we'll go into the 25 wins that I had this week. Some of them were real nail biters, but I was able to pull them all off, and there was definitely a couple lucky boards that, you know, a couple key moves just flipped things and made it go my way. But, hey, a win is a win, and I will take them all. Look forward to your questions and comments. Thank you for watching. This is the video that was submitted by Marcus OT on Facebook with him attacking my defense team. Really appreciate him willing to share this video. Thank you so much. Welcome to another Empires and Puzzles Books video. This is day one of the three star buff booster tournament with no fire. I am uh, pleased with how my defense is doing thus far. Hopefully it stays A all week. I pretty much used the same defense team I did the last time we had this event with the one switch of burden costume instead of burden and I switched the order of burden and menisus. Hopefully that stays A all week. So I'm gonna go into my first battle We'll see how this goes. Okay. 
That wasn't a bad start. All right, battle two, uh, stacking dark since they have holy as their tank. Was tempted to do some holy hero since they have two darks. And actually, let me just go in and change this one troop. It's a defense troop. Get everybody up to attack. All right, let's see what kind of board we get. Could have stacked green for this too. They have two ice. Let's get some movement in the center of the board. Not enough to get anybody up to mana yet. Now if I could just get any tiles in the middle board. Agnes hits hard, but she has she's terribly weak. Taking some damage here before I get her killed. Hopefully I can get him killed with these green tiles. That Tyrum's going to be hard to kill. And Bjorn is just dangerous. He hits the two hard. I guess we'll go for Bjorn since he's hitting too. All right. Wasn't crazy how this started out, but this worked out. Should be enough to take out Tyrim. For real? There we go. All right, round number three. Stacking mostly green since they have two ice heroes. 
and I'm just going to be relying on Kavasser for some extra healing with the meat shields from the minions and Malia for the critical chance increase. All right. Goes Friar Tuck to start ruining my day with their mana generation. All right, there we go. We needed to get some green. Hopefully bolt it to them. Yeah. Kavasser is not long for this world. Well, that was good. I'll take that. Sometimes it pays to be lucky over good. I'll take lucky. Uh, those yellow dime or yellow tiles just keep coming up. Did that out of the wrong water, but it won't make a difference. All right, so I will stack all nature for this because it's a Gunnar tank and they are a pain. I would recommend regular Gunnar for uh, defense. This person chose costume, which is a huge advantage to me because regular Gunnar would be giving them a buff all over the place. So I'm excited for that lapse. And they got two healers with him and Kalani in the corner. So she's going to add some buffs. Really, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of Tyrum, and this should not be too too terrible of a fight. So let's jump in and see how this goes. Starting out with a nature diamond, I don't think this is going to go well for them. Alright, attack up. Give them defense down. Alright, so the primary threat has been eliminated. I got none of my tiles on the board, but we'll make do. Anything they're going to do at this point is just going to be a pain. Not shouldn't be any real threats going on here. Another diamond. There we go. The nasty detective is... Alright, this looks like it's going to be a little bit of a challenging fight. Uh, that Ishtak costume gives defense down to everybody. So we'll see how that goes. Actually, you know what? Let me switch back. 
to my burden costume who gives defense down. All right. Yeah, between their buy-off who will give attack up and Ishtak costume who gives defense down. to get a oh, I was trying to make the green stack there for the diamond or excuse me the dragon Let's sneak on this side maybe that won't be enough to set off fish tack a double hit that he's probably gonna go So far, so good. Perfect. All right, we're in the clear. The Vassar and Vila should not be a challenge at this point. Anybody does real damage is gone. All right, attack up, defense down, and kill shot. I didn't even need the kill shot for him. And that should be it. Not bad for day one.
day three of the Buff Booster Three Star No Fire event. I'm quite pleased with my defense. Lots of wins. This only shows you uh, the last 30. And I tend to get, by the end of the week, I'll probably get rated almost probably between 80 and 100 times I usually get during a three star event. But I'm maintaining the A, and it's a solid A at this point, so I feel pretty good about that. And offense has been good. 10 tacks, 10 wins. So we'll see how today goes. Should be okay here. Oh, going on. Hiram's about to kill somebody else. I don't know. We hit and hit that. Alright, well that's one way to get over to make the match. Meanwhile, they'll they're having death by minions. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, it's the last day of the tournament. My defense team has so far been attacked 77 times and is still rocking an A defense. So pretty excited about that. And on offense, if you got this far in the video, you would know that I have not lost a single fight yet this week. So it'll be interesting to see if I can get through today uh, undefeated. Let's jump into our first attack and see how this goes. Not complaining about that start.
Thank you. 